Open by Finesse, the IGL of NRG. First of all, uh, congratulations on your revenge against uh, Na'Vi. I know FBX uh, Copenhagen, uh, they were the ones that knocked you out. But I think a lot of people are saying that this Na'Vi have more weaknesses compared to the last one you played against. Now you face them uh, twice. Would you agree with that? Yeah, they don't have artists. Because <laughs> they don't have artists, therefore <laughs> yeah, they, they're yeah, getting deeper. It's a big weakness not having artists. Artists had an insane game versus us when he was on Chamber. Uh, on that team, but no, I think they just had a little bit of an off day. We feel like we should have 2 0 them. Um, For sure. We had a really good lead on Lotus and we threw it away. It's our map pick. We should have been able to close it out, but they still are a very good team. Uh, I just think we had their number today. Both of you guys are very uh, prep heavy, anti strat heavy. I know you guys like to do that kind of preparation coming into a tournament. Um, how difficult is it? Because in EMEA, teams always say you got to prep for the possibility of a Yoru, you know, sometimes like crazy stuff like seeing it on Omen. Uh, how did that affect your preparation? And were you expecting the Yoru today? Yeah, actually, yeah? <laughs> uh, well, cool. we we were pretty certain they were going to play it just because that's their last comp that they played. But we also knew there was a possibility that they wouldn't. Um, so we did prep for both. But yeah, I personally was expecting it. And Not for like Lotus said, you're talking about? It is difficult to be able to read it. And they play Euro on Lotus? And you see the comp and then check and kind of tell us what to do. But in general, yeah, it is kind of, it's way more difficult to read comps here for sure. Uh, lastly, out of all the teams here, Na'Vi, also they split. have changed the most comps mm, in regular season, I think 20 at this point. Um, you guys, not quite that experimental, but you did also experiment. Uh, what are your views on, you know, keep changing comps here in and out? Or do you think it's better to just stick with uh, seven comps across seven maps? Uh, it's definitely good to have one or two at, at, at most. I don't think anything more than two is viable just because you kind of have to be able to remember everything and that's kind of tough. So two is usually good. We have about two comps a, a, a map and it, it works out for us for the most part. But two comps a yeah, map. I mean, for example, in our Your three sounds over cool for sure. C9, we had to switch a comp right before we played them. And it, it's one of those things. It was like one day of practice. So as long as you have players that are capable, it's, it's possible. That is you wild. They practice the comp for one day. Thank you very much, Vanessa, for joining me and good yeah. luck in your next game.